In today's unpredictable world, naval forces are often the first line of defense. When conflict erupts, it's the most advanced warships, especially destroyers, that can intercept threats in time and protect vital interests. Recent escalations in the Middle East have underscored just how crucial these ships are to modern military strategy. Both the UK's Type 45 and the US's Arleigh Burke-class destroyers have proven their value in these tense situations. The Type 45 was recently deployed in the Red Sea, where it played an active role in intercepting threats from Houthi forces who launched ballistic missiles toward Israel. Meanwhile, the U.S. Navy's Arleigh Burke-class destroyers have also proven essential in missile defense during recent escalations. On October 1, 2024, when Iran launched a major ballistic missile attack on Israel, firing over 180 missiles, the Arleigh Burke destroyers stationed nearby were crucial in intercepting these incoming threats. Both destroyers have proven their capabilities in intercepting threats, but the big question is, which one truly leads in naval defense? In today's video, we'll be taking a closer look at the firepower and armaments of both ships to find out which one comes out on top. Let's start by looking at the Vertical Launch System, or VLS, which is key to how many missiles each destroyer can carry and launch. This gives us a clear picture of their overall combat potential. The UK's Type 45 destroyer, while advanced in many areas, only has 48 VLS cells. This smaller capacity is designed to be efficient for its primary role, which is air defense. Most of these cells are loaded with Aster missiles, but we'll dive into those in the next segment. On the other hand, the US Arleigh Burke-class destroyer has a significant advantage here. With 96 VLS cells, it can carry twice as many missiles as the Type 45. This means not only more firepower, but also greater versatility. The Burke can load a variety of interceptors, long-range missiles, and anti-surface weapons, giving it much more flexibility in combat situations. Now, let's take a closer look at the types of missiles these destroyers are equipped with and how they stack up against each other. The Type 45 destroyer is fitted with the Aster missile system, which includes two key variants, the Aster 15 and the Aster 30. The Aster 15 handles short to medium range threats, while the Aster 30 extends the reach up to 220 kilometers. Both missiles are designed with impressive agility, making them particularly effective against low flying, sea skimming missiles. These are a common tactic used by adversaries to slip under radar detection. This gives the Type 45 a strong defense against such sneaky threats. In contrast, the Arleigh Burke-class destroyer boasts a more diverse missile lineup, featuring the Standard Missile 6, or SM-6, and the Evolved Sea Sparrow missile, also known as E-SSM. The SM-6 is one of the key highlights here, with a remarkable range of 300 to 400 kilometers, far outpacing the Aster missiles in terms of distance. But it's not just for air defense. The SM-6 can also engage surface targets, adding an extra punch to the Burke's offensive capabilities. But it doesn't stop there. The Arleigh Burke makes great use of the E-SSM, which can be quad-packed into its VLS cells. In simple terms, this means that for every single Aster missile in the Type 45's VLS, the Burke can load up to four E-SSMs, significantly increasing its missile capacity. This is especially valuable in scenarios like saturation attacks, where numerous incoming threats could overwhelm a ship with fewer missiles. The E-SSMs give the Burke a clear advantage in managing these high-intensity situations. As we mentioned earlier, 
the Type 45's Aster 30 missiles have an engagement range of up to 120 kilometers, which is quite effective for defending against airborne threats like cruise missiles and enemy aircraft. However, when it comes to Ballistic Missile Defense, or BMD, the Type 45 has a more limited role. While it can potentially intercept short-range ballistic missiles, its capabilities in this area haven't been as thoroughly tested or refined compared to the Arleigh Burke-class destroyers. The Arleigh Burke, on the other hand, is a well-established platform for ballistic missile defense. Equipped with the Aegis Combat System, it's specifically designed to detect, track, and engage ballistic missiles at different phases of their flight. Paired with the SM-6 and other BMD-focused missiles, the Burke can intercept both short- and intermediate-range ballistic missiles, which is a crucial advantage in high-threat regions like the Middle East. In a recent conflict, the Burke's advanced Aegis system played a key role in defending critical areas from Iran's missile attacks, highlighting its superior BMD capabilities. Now, let's talk about anti-submarine warfare. The Type 45 is equipped with the MFS-7000 bow-mounted sonar to detect underwater threats, but it lacks some of the more advanced anti-submarine features found in other destroyers. For example, it doesn't have torpedo tubes or a towed array sonar, which limits its ability to directly engage submarines. Instead, the Type 45 relies on helicopters like the Merlin or Lynx to handle anti-submarine warfare duties. On the flip side, the Arleigh Burke-class destroyer is built for anti-submarine warfare missions. Along with its bow sonar, it's equipped with torpedo tubes and a towed array sonar, which help it detect and engage submarines at greater distances. Plus, it can carry up to two Seahawk helicopters, which are effective not just in ASW roles, but also in anti-surface operations. This gives the Burke a clear edge in ASW capabilities. In the end, both the UK's Type 45 and the US Arleigh Burke-class destroyers are impressive platforms, but they excel in different areas. The Type 45, with its advanced Aster missile system, is a top-tier air defense destroyer ideal for fleet protection and handling complex missile threats. On the other hand, the Arleigh Burke stands out with its larger VLS capacity, longer-range SM-6 missiles, and superior ballistic missile defense, making it more versatile, especially in high-stakes situations like the recent conflicts in the Middle East. So, which destroyer do you think is better? That's all for today. Thank you for watching.